Hi, this is Sander de Recht with a new Q&D tutorial for Blackmagic Designs Fusion. One of the topics that comes up a lot in the Blackmagic forum is I want to make a map that consists of various other images and maps and make a line that travels across them. But how do I do this without blowing up my computer? Now, there are different ways to achieve this. One of the suggestions that has been done the most is to make a composite of a humongous size and uh, create a paint tool on top of that. But the problem with that is that it uses way too much memory. I'm going to show you a way to create a giant map, but never create an image that is larger than full HD. Let's pretend this red background this green background, this blue background, and this yellow background are all parts of a map. What I did was I combined them all together because Fusion has an infinite workspace. So even this is a full HD image, and I put another full HD image on top of it, the fact that it is off screen doesn't mean that it's actually missing. So if you look at the transform here, you can see that it's still a full HD but the complete combined map is visible over here. Well, in this case, that's not what we want or need. But what I did was, after combining these maps into one, I animated the combined map from 0 to 500. So what happens is that you move across the map, you go from red to green to blue, and sideways towards yellow. I did that all with one path which is visible over here. I merged that on top of an empty background, which is still full HD. None of these images is larger than full HD, and yet we have this complete very high resolution map that we move across. Now the cool thing is if I add a paint tool to this, like so, it's still full HD. But if I create a polyline stroke and go into the stroke controls, then I have a center. If I connect that to the path of the maps, the center of my line moves with the rest of the animation. So if I click now and start my line here, and then move all the way here and say I want to end up here, I have a line that goes from here to there, which moves with the movement across the map. So what I can do now is go into the insert options and go across my animation and say, oh, I want a line to move here, cross the state line, over here. We stopped with a small tour, and then we moved across that state line, made a small detour, and ended up over here. So now I have a paint tool that's full HD, but that still covers the whole map. You see, it moves together with the maps. And they are all in sync, and no image is bigger than full HD. Yay! Less memory, quicker renders. Who doesn't enjoy that? So the only thing we need to do now is animate the right on from zero to here, and then we have a nice growing line that moves across the map. And if you want to speed it up a little, you can adjust the keyframes like so. And everything is just the way we like it. This was Sander Recht, and I hope you enjoyed my Q&D tutorial.